Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 122, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And we are exploring the Jedi Enclave sublevel in Dantooine. We found the source of the Kinnereths. And a, a very, very misguided Padawan who is um, dangerously, dangerously naive. No, oh, sorry, not Kinnereths. Um, these guys, the Legreeks. E either way, it's a problem. Her, her pets are more than a little out of hand. And it's time to, uh, to handle things. Alright, that's going a little bit better. I gotta figure out when, uh, the rest of my guys can get their level. Because it'd be nice to level them up, too. There we go. I still feel like they should be lootable. You're telling me not one of those guys is, like, you know, swallowed something useful out of, uh, oh, I. Well, I guess you guys didn't need me after all. Switch back to your blaster. What are you doing pulling out that sword? Yeah, I don't, I don't remember this little conference room in the first Knights of the Old Republic. I, I guess they did some, uh, remodeling around here. Yeah, could could use a little, little pest control, some cleanup, maybe a little spackle or something to fix up the walls. All right. Hmm. What are the odds I can get to that door first? Is someone out there? Anybody? <laughs> Help! Red okay. Bricks are everywhere. Help me! I'm trapped in here. <laughs> Don't reply. Could you open the door? There are still some Lagrix around. Are you Joran? Why? <laughs> the Lagrix in this area are dead. I mean, that's tempting. Uh, there are still some around. Please, take care of them. <laughs> I can't stand much more of this. If you do manage to clear a path, please come back. All right. Well, let's take care of this guy first. Did he just run past me? He just ran past me. I feel like I should have gotten an attack of opportunity or something. Alright. Um. Alright, he's got a clear path out, so let's try this again. Is that you? I thought I heard something. <laughs> you thought you heard something? Is it safe yet? Are you Joran? Yes, y yes I am. I locked the door in here. I thought I was going to be leg wreck compost. Yeah. Did you take care of them, stranger? The Lagrix in this area are dead. Must be fierce with a blaster, then. Give me a moment. I sort of jammed the door a bit. <laughs> Just don't leave. <laughs> you sort of jammed the door a bit? Oh, Thanks you're not what me. I was expecting. I thought those leg wrecks had me for sure. Uh... Leave quickly. Do you know anything about a thief? Saving you. How quaint. You have something I want. Uh, not so fast. There's a small matter of reward. Uh, before you go, what were you doing down here? It's all Tapale's fault. Oh. She said the entryway to the sublevel was safe enough. This area has hardly been explored. We barely got in here. And then everybody started going left and right, grabbing anything they could. It was every man for himself, and nobody was watching for Legrex. Then, before you know it, we were under attack by those beasts. Mm -hmm. So salvagers were running every which way, and they left me to die. This is why you never split the party. Um... Did you find anything? No, I, I didn't get anything. Now I'd just like to leave. I know you found something. She told me. Fine. I did grab a couple of things from the room we were in, but it's just Jedi garbage. Um. 
I could pay you. Any chance you could give me what you found as a reward? Why were you down here so dangerous? No, oh, I could pay you for what you found. No, I hadn't thought of that. We could arrange something like that. That would work. I, I, I managed to grab three things. One's some sort of crystal, and the other looks like parts. For a lightsaber, maybe, I don't know. If you give me 1,300 credits, you can have it all. <laughs> That'll be enough for me to get off this rock. No returns on this. You're stuck with what you buy. All right. You can buy it. You will get a lightsaber and some parts. What parts you get are level adjusted. So uh, you'll get a, a color crystal and one or two random components that are appropriate for the level that you're at. Uh, whether it's worth 1,300 credits, eh, I don't know. I mean, I'm not finding too many more opportunities for spending it, so let's be nice. <laughs> A pleasure doing business with you. And now I can finally get passage back home. I hope that junk is worth it to you. I really do. I'm going to the salvager camp. It'll take some time to get things in order. Come visit if you like, but if you don't like what you bought... It isn't my problem. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I have more to talk to you about. All right, we get an expert fencing emitter, which isn't bad. A uh, pontite lens, which is what I have in most of them, and a red crystal. Hmm, huh. interesting. Uh, that actually means that that last lightsaber that we picked up, or this one, that, you know, whichever way you want to do it, uh, we can outfit. Uh, we can outfit pretty much like everybody else's lightsaber is. Uh, pretty close to having everything we need to do that. So that that wasn't bad. I don't know that it was, you know, 1,300 credits not bad, but that wasn't bad. All right, you know what? It's been a minute. Because I know that the, the as soon as I don't, that's when it's going to crash in the middle of something important. But as long as I save, it'll be fine. Isn't that usually how that works? All right. Let's uh, try to security this door here real quick. Oh, yeah. Um, you, you guys aren't going to let me take care of this door first, are you? Fine. Sorry. Right. We can make this happen. Get out of here. All right. Let's try this door again, shall we? And in this door, we have another door. And not much else. Well, okay then. Behind this door, we have. Oh. Skill too low. Okay. What's going on? That's why I brought you, good sir. Eves, recover that for me. There we go. All right, and in here we've got a body. That's not ominous at all. Oh. In an open door, so we didn't have to pick that other one. Journal entry added. XP received 150. That seems kind of low. I mean, I guess all I did was find the body in the middle of the room, so that, that's not exactly, you know. Woo! 1,000 XP! You found a body lying in the middle of the room. Although, if we were playing actual tabletop D&D, &D, my spot check would be low enough that that might be an accomplishment worth uh, a, a thousand XP. <clears throat> <clears throat> Items received dead salvager. Wait, I received a dead salvager? Mm, that's a little gruesome. Uh, ghost to rest. Bonus mission. Oh, yeah. 
This is one of the two ways to pick up that bonus mission. I apparently missed a conversation in the uh, Salvager camp. So, I found the body of a Salvager in the Enclave ruins. Perhaps someone in the Salvager camp would know who this poor fellow was. Uh, and I think there was a will or something. Or maybe that's a different body. Um, oh, I just got a fragmentation mine. There's that Pontite lens. Um, yeah, I think that's the one that I have in some of the other ones. Dead Salvager. <laughs> wow, my inventory has all this armor and a dead body. I, I didn't know uh, bags of holding were in the Star Wars universe. Okay. It's, a, it's in my Jedi robe of holding. Alright, what else we got? Um, junk, junk, more junk. Oh, hello there. Now I gotta get a little more Alec Guinness in this and, uh, hello there! Okay, you're supposed to lead in with a force wave hit. Fine. That's fine. And you've got no loot of value. Yeah. There, there doesn't appear to be an actual anything here. And this doesn't appear to be anything that was in the original in the first Knights of the Old Republic, which is a little bit of a shame because they, they've either made a, a special effort to go, this is an area that didn't exist before, or uh, keep it fairly true to the first Knights of the Old Republic game. So I, I will admit to being just a little a little surprised that this this floor plan is not the way that was. Um, hmm. That's not ominous. Stuck door. I can use a lightsaber or I could blow it up. Yeah. <laughs> ah, doors are no problem when you get a lightsaber. Matter of fact, I'm kind of surprised that they keep giving me security as an option anyway. I get a lightsaber. We 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 all saw we all saw that uh better in retrospect Star Wars movie where uh you know, blast doors weren't a problem for the Jedi engaging in aggressive negotiations. All right. All right. Uh Oh, let me go. Oh, no, no, no. Not that many. <laughs> Let's uh, go handle things here real quick. Is it just the one? It's just the one. Dun, 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 dun. Ominous music. And... Oh. That's the hallway with the other side of the door. So we could have just walked past the uh, locked door, and it would have been all right. No, no, I, I see that there's a room back there. I, I guess the door's on the other side. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go security this. We'll do it. We'll do it the easy way. Are these protocol droids, or are they protocol droids? And we got a broken droid. Okay. Uh, we got another broken droid. Eh. Okay. Hmm. That means that I can give T3 that uh, combat upgrade. Give him a big honking rifle. Oh, and now we get a workbench. That would have been useful somewhere, you know, out in the open. Another battle upgrade. All right. So we're at the point where I now have enough battle upgrades for all my droids, and the rest have become spare parts. Might have to handle that later. Computer panel. Alright, uh... Local camera control. The droid bay entrance. Okay. Southeast common room. Oh, already cleared, I guess. 
Uh, Southeast Hall North. Southeast Hall North. Okay, camera offline. South. All right, so we got another one of those critters, wherever that is. Southwest. Hmm. Can we, uh, how do I overload those stations? That seems like the best way to access work log. View the pending work log. Page one of three. Task 1,046A. I think I've had that task list. Head technician. I can't believe Zerka Corp released a new protocol droid with so many flaws. The batch we ordered last month have all fried out from overheating. Uh, the Zerka rep said the droid was designed for temperature-controlled environments such as starships, but I don't buy it. The real problem is that the Sith-cursed power cell of the new model runs too hot. And worse, the output modulator was installed right next to the cell and is the first thing to get melted into slag when the cell overheats. Needless to say, without a functioning output modulator, you could jostle the droid and it would pop like a fireworks on Republic Day. So I'm working with the Zerka rep to get these defective droids replaced. In the meantime, I've powered down the new protocol droids so they don't cause any more accidents. Okay. Connection failed. Okay. Uh, why do I get the feeling that's only going to overload this terminal? Yeah. I, I don't want to do that here. Is there any way I can get these, uh... Ooh, reactivate. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, got, I got the wrong person doing this. Yeah? Mr. Technician. Uh... <laughs> repair droid. The diodes have been melted, yada, yada, yada. Engage in meet and greet mode. Okay. Oh, I wonder if these guys will start attacking the uh, critters. Reactivate the... Uh, how many parts do I have? I got 33 parts. Oh, I got plenty of repair parts. All right. Okay. 500 XP a pop. Yeah. And only one part? Go. Go forth, my minions. Engage in meet and greet mode. I, I, I would have thought Bethesda working on your uh, pathfinding the way that went out. Alright, so that wasn't a complete waste. And we do have a workbench that we can get to now. I mean, I'm not sure that I'd call it the safest workbench, but uh, maybe maybe once we get this done, it won't be so bad. It'll just be uh, further away. Oh! Okay. So these guys are, what, running up and blowing up in the critter's face? Oh, that's right, because he said if you just jostle them, they'll explode. So these guys are going to meet and greet the critters and blowing up in front of them. Nice. Guys, seriously. The cluster y'all just kind of chilling right there is not, you know, I'm not encouraged. Go forth. Meet and greet. Oh, seriously. Fine. Useless droid. Worthless scrap. I thought you guys were supposed to help me out. Do I need to let you go further ahead? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, and I got the XP for it. Good. All right, so if I want these guys to blow up the critters, I seriously have to sit back and let these slow things inch their way forward? All right. Yeah. 
Yes, General. No, I didn't mean to talk to you. Oh! Oh my! How is how is Mandalore? Um, oh, because he was right next to that thing when it blew up. Oops. I need to uh, keep a better eye on that. Oh wow! I didn't realize my force point <laughs> regen was quite at that level. All right. So it looks like the rest of the uh, the guys blew up most of the rest of them. All right, dude. You, you keep switching to that blaster or that sword, and this is not. Really close. No, I need to take care of this guy. How do you like that? Come on. Now. Take him down. Finish him. Don't just stand there. Finish him. All right. Uh, if that's the door that I think it, yeah, that's. That door, I'm going to come back to last, and you'll you'll see why when I get there. Um, that does not look good. All right, let's security the door. Oh, that's a that's a whole lot of not looking good right there. Yikes. Uh, that looks like a whole lot of stuff that could blow up at the worst possible moment. Hmm. Only we could save. Okay. Now I'll access the. Game. Uh, sure. Let's fix it. Access. All right. Access the work log. Volume not found. Data corruption. Please contact the head technician. Okay. Uh, system commands. Connection failed. Mainframe disconnected from children. Please contact the head technician. Local camera control. Uh, overload the terminal. <laughs> no. Um, are you kidding me? That That's suicide. All right. What's in the footlocker? Verpine fiber ultra mesh. I wonder if that's better than what anybody's got for armor. I'll have to check that out between streams. All right. That's not bad. Uh, that dude got fried. Wow, there's a lot of really dangerous... Like, okay. Y you guys see all these high-voltage terminals just sitting... What engineer thought, I know, I'll put all the high-voltage transformers in a room around a computer panel? Although, some of the stuff that I've seen really does make you wonder. <laughs> Stuck door. I have the lightsaber of unsticking doors. Alright. So far, so good. We, uh... Look at this last guy down here. <laughs> oh, I actually took a little damage on that one. Huh. Reminds me, before I forget, how much longer do I have to go? Mm. I really want to get to the... I, I need to get to at least level 27. Uh, I might... Okay, I might be able to get to level 27 before Korea is no longer a crew, a member of the crew. Because if I can do that, I can refocus the uh, crystal one last time before I lose that opportunity. It won't be at the highest level that you can refocus it at. Because I, I do not think I'm going to be able to get that at... Um, 
I'm not going to get to level 30, <laughs> much less 33. Oh. Um. Oh, that didn't do anything to it. Okay. I'd have, if I had known that, I'd have saved the, uh, saved the mines. Just say hi -ya. Did, did the Mandalore just say hi -ya? Okay, I'm sorry. That that just that really just threw me for a loop there, and that does not seem wise. Swinging a lightsaber around electronics that look like they're about to explode right next to you. I'm just saying. Like I've made smarter decisions in this game. All right. I guess the data pad's all there is. Storage room data pad. Get items. This journal was found near the gnawed clean skeleton of a salvager. The last entry is of interest. I made it farther into the Enclave than any other salvager. I have discovered an untouched storage room. The computer in the power relay station should allow me to open the security door. Once I figure out how to sneak past the Legrix that I ha that have made a nest there, I will leave Dantooine rich. Yeah. I hate to break it to you, but uh... Uh, something about the best laid plans and all that. All right, what's in the terminal? All right, let's access the work log. View the pending work logs. Oh, we actually have one. <laughs> Task 1046B. Poor guy. I sat on that committee. I am here investigating complaints of the storage room door sticking shut following a recent mishap with a defective flaming protocol droid. My assistant Tarn will be on hand to open the door for me if I get stuck in the storage room. Uh, nope. No prior. Main. Open storage room door. Nope. Local camera control. Ah, nothing of use. And I'm not overloading a terminal I'm standing next to. I, I'm i still kind of like, why is that even an option? Uh. Oh. I wonder. Alright, 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 alright. Let's uh, get you guys out here. Let's engage in solo. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's. In uh, do you want to turn solo mode off? No. I want to leave it in solo mode. I want to go ahead and do some valor. Uh, I don't care. If it's a buff, uh, I want it. I'm wondering if I come in here and overload the terminals. Oh! Seriously? I didn't know that... Oh. Well, that... that okay. I was expecting that to go differently. So I probably could have snuck into those other rooms and overloaded them for some other stuff, couldn't I? Oh, hello, loot. An untouched storage area. All right, let's start with the bag in the center. We got a data pad from the head technician and stamina. This is the work pad of Durgar Chester, the late head technician of the Jedi Enclave. There is a personal note written here. It's been a couple of weeks and no one has come for me. I can only assume the Enclave was destroyed topside and now I'm buried alive in here. I've tried using the equipment in the storage room to hack, force, weld, or blow that flaming security door open. 
but nothing I've tried works, and now I'm running low on food. Oh. Well, don't worry. I'll make sure your stuff doesn't go to waste. Uh, prototype shield and some plasma rockets. Seriously? That droid looks like he's got some useful parts. Uh, battle stem. Ooh, another set of robes. Uh, armor. No me's robes. Defense bonus, three. Regen force points, three. And wisdom plus four. Uh oh. Okay, never mind. I've already so it would I would get defense at the expense of charisma and intelligence. Nah, I, I think I think I like what I got. Okay. Let's uh try this one here. Concussion grenade, health package. Well, I guess I gotta make some money selling this stuff myself, too. But I think I'm at the point where I've crafted everything I need to craft. Electro mesh armor. Okay. And 20 bucks. Uh. I mean, it's better than no money. Alright. That wasn't a bad haul. That's actually not a bad place to go ahead and, uh. Insert a little break. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.